The world's longest running comedy music concert series is coming from inside your house. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that went to a dark place. <laughs> Virtual MarsCon 2021 is taking place online for free on March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Hi, MarsCon. <laughs> This year's event will have live stream performances by The Great Luke Ski, Devo Spice, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, TV's Kyle and Lindzilla, Il Nage, Beth Kinderman, Tom Smith, Throwing Toasters, Amy Engelhart, an AMA interview with Ookla the Mop, and this year's music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We'll also be doing a virtual Q&A with the man who has been playing drums in Weird Al Yankovic's band for over 40 years, John Bermuda Schwartz. Drum solo! For info on how to watch, go to MarsCon.com. And for info on the comedy music track, go to MarsConComedy.com. And uh, do watch out for flying lobsters. Thanks for listening, funny music fans. And I hope to see you all at Virtual MarsCon 2021. Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And this week, by popular demand, via the poll on my Patreon... I'm reacting to Why Did I Say Okie Dokie by The Stupendium. And because last week's video messed up, I'm going to also watch the Milk Milk Lemonade Answers video since the original video that I was watching messed up and I didn't realize it until I was editing. And yeah, sorry about that. But, you know, as a way to compromise, I guess, compromise is the right word, as a way to make up for that, uh, I will be watching the answers video that explains the puns in the song. Because I, you know, I do these as a first impression reaction, a first impression, if you will. And, uh, you know, I, since I had already seen it, I couldn't really do that part again. And my laptop had died at the time, so I couldn't really record the video again from that perspective. So, ah, compromise, fixing mistakes. But before we get started, if you could please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to these videos. Subscribe so you know when I put out these videos every week on Fridays. But if you want to see these videos early, if you want your name in the end credits, if you want to help vote on the poll for which stupendium song I'm going to react to next, or maybe even hear some exclusive music of mine released every month, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. Anyway, all of that out of the way now, let's get into Why Did I Say Okie Dokie by The Stupendium, the song about Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I haven't played the game myself, but I have seen it played. So I do know what's going on with this game. I do know what the game's deal is. Uh... I've watched the Game Grumps playthrough of it, uh, which is great because Aaron, who is playing the game, sort of knows what's up, but not like knows knows what's up. And Dan, who's watching, is oblivious. And when the first big reveal happens, it it's great. It's a wonderful thing to watch. You should watch it. It's a great playthrough. Uh, anyway... Uh, apparently there's several different versions of this out there. This is the orchestral remix that I'm watching, because let's just make it epic, right? Anyway. Well, it's a lovely little... On April 11th, 2018, I released Why Did I Say Okie Dokie? One year and well over 10 million views later, it's success to change the course of this channel. I need to read all of that. Let's Let's go back. I released, why did I say Godoki? One year and well over 10 million years. <laughs> One year and well over 10 million views later, its success had changed the course of this channel and my life forever. Oh, apparently, one of his most popular songs. <laughs> and I'm just now watching it. I feel great. Thank you to everyone who helped make it happen. I walked to school with my best friend. Surprise, surprise, she's late again She's got a club she wants me in Don't think I've ever raised a pen So now, the plot of the game. Uh, I love these drawings. 
These are great. Stupendium as... Does does the player character in that game actually have a name? I, f I feel like he does. I want to say Makoto, but that, that might not be it. I'm currently watching Game Grumps play through of Dungan Rumpa, and I think Makoto is the name of the protagonist character in that. Visual novel games, they're kind of they're kind of similar. In you know they're weird and they're visual novels. Anyway. I'll consider it sure. No fan of literature. Books with less pictures than words. Leave me a little bit bored. I will say. I'll consider it sure, no fan of literature. It's a great rhyme. Consider it sure, literature. That's great. That's that's quality. I I appreciate that sort of thing. But hey, they promise cupcakes, so it's a chance that I'll take. Four gorgeous girls await me. Okay, I think that I'll stay. Say I raise a little fat cuckoo, not so sweet and cutesy. Yuri is deep and brooding, my neck is brains and beauty. Just Monica. See, you just see what I did there? Because I know what the game's about. I referenced it in my comment. No, anyway, seriously, uh, this is already really good, but this is, it's, it's so sweeping this orchestral mix it's so sweeping and moving because it's it's almost a ballad but it's just the orchestral mix kind of adds a flourish to it that i'm guessing is not present in the original version i appreciate the musicality of it um as far as reacting to the video there's not a lot happening in this video which is is kind of a surprise for a stupendium song. It's just the the one image with scrolling text. Now I don't know if that's because it's this version that I'm watching. If the other version is is different or not, but uh, I'm sure everyone will tell me in the comments below. I swear I won't leave them hanging, and when he sang that, I didn't see what happened, but the screen did glitch. Reference. Let's 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 see if we can see something there again. My neck is brains and beauty. There's a festival needs planning. Swear I won't leave them hanging. It just glitched, okay. So many clubs to rival up. I guess it's just the five of us. Just the five of us. We can make it if we try, <laughs> but each day the past. So we go into a, a song shift that is almost a parody of just the two of us, and it's just the five of us. That's it's a good reference. I, I appreciate that. That's good stuff. Let's take it back a little bit. And rival us, five of us. It's good run too. Just the five of us. We can make it if we try. But each day that passes by is tearing pages from my mind. Just the five of us. I have to stop it for a second. I'm I'm noticing Sayori kinda looks like she's crying. Was she Was she crying at the beginning of the song? Was that... was that a thing? Did I just not notice it before? And Yuri looks a little more worried than I... I remember. Natsuki's still got the cupcake. And Monica's just Monica. I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit just to see if the, the expression has changed. Yep. So that's neat. 30 seconds ago, she wasn't crying. Ain't, ain't that something? Oh, good. This is, this is a thing I kind of appreciate 
in a minimalist video is still there's those little touches that kind of help replicate what's going on in the game and how the characters are feeling at that point. Because he's basically just kind of summarizing the, the general gist of it. I wonder how how spoilery he's going to get in the lyrics. This is good stuff. Yuri looks looks about as worried as she looked before. Yuri and worried kind of almost rhyme. Maybe that'll be a thing. I don't know. It's a first impression. First impression. Anyway, I like I'm been trying to make that happen for years. I've done videos under that name before. It's just let me have it, okay? It's fine. The cry happens on the glitch. Nice. I guess it's just the five of us. Just the five of us. We can make it if we try. But each day that passes by is tearing pages from my mind. Just the five of us. No escaping if I try. Though these maidens may seem kind, there's something going on behind. It's true. <laughs> Why did you say okie dokie? That is the question. Why did anybody? Because the game was free. That's why anybody said okie dokie to it. And then, and then they, the, it, the, the whole game went viral because of the nature of what happens in the game. That's why anybody said okie dokie to it. It, 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 it the viral nature of what's happening in this game it's not just a cute little dating sim visual novel there's something lurking behind as he said something going on behind it it is uh if you haven't seen it and i you know i appreciate all the stupendium fans coming back to watching my my reactions on this uh as i slowly discover what you guys already know but I'm wondering how many Stupendium fans out there had actually played this or knew about this game, too. Oh, why does everything have to have batteries go dead? Now it's my camera's turn. Bear with me just one moment. Delivering all these flows on the feet Just so I can bring you all you can eat When you see me zooming down your street You know I'm delivering something savory or sweet Order up all the food you enjoy but long subs or a tub of bok choy Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois It's my job I'm a delivery boy! Okay, sorry. Uh, apparently, before I start making videos, I should check the batteries of everything. I charged the laptop, and the camera had started to die. Oopsie. But it's fixed. No more problems. That's charged. This is charged. The light is charged. We're continuing. Where was I? I? I had to wait like a half an hour for that thing to charge. So I'm, I'm all lost. You got to where, why did I say okie dokie, I think. Yeah. I walked to school alone again. I'm oh, not a guy they went away. Many friends. I've got no club out time to spend. So I read manga and stay in. I run into Monica. Says that I should just join hers. It's a club for books with words. But they need some more members. I... There's a discrepancy there. He says, it's a club for books with words. But the lyrics there say, sounds like a club for books with words. I'm sure that's a, a first draft and that's what ended up in the scroll. Happens all the time. Just found it interesting in a game that glitches anyway. But yeah, the, the at least the image is changing. It's not often, but it is in keeping with what the story is telling you. So it's good. I run into Monica Says that I should just join hers It's a club for books with words But they need some more members I say okay I come along but just one day But just you try to get away Three gorgeous girls beg you to stay 
And those girls. Natsuki's brutish cutesy. Yuri is too into me. Monica's brains and beauty. It's almost festival time. I, I like how Sayori is just the backing vocal. That's what's being said in the background, but there's no image of Sayori here. Because if you've played the game, you know what happened to her. And then you don't know what happened to her, because it, it pretends that didn't, it didn't occur. Instead, Monica's bringing you into the group instead of Sayori bringing you into the group. Things have started over. And Natsuki's a little more brutish. And Yuri is way too into you. Yeah. Themes. Changes. Discrepancies. It's a good game. Say, we're cutting it fine. The task may seem laborious. I wonder where Sayori is. I guess it's <laughs> just the four of us. Laborious, the four of us. Where is Sayori is? That's good. Just the four of us. We can make it if we try. Good theme to repeat. Each day that passes by is tearing pages from my mind. Just the four of us. No escaping if I try. Though these maidens may seem kind, there's something going on behind. Yes, there is. They look so sad and lonely. I sold my soul for poetry. This hell is members only. <laughs> this hell is members only. <laughs> And then things change again for this next verse, I fear. Perhaps. Well, I'm back at school again. No. Monica's my only friend. Monica's my only friend. Monica's my everything. My beginning and my end. Just Monica. Monica's a Lupe cookie. <laughs> Monica's sweet and cutesy. Monica's deep and brooding. Monica's brains and beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the text replicating the way the text is in the game. Oh, nice. Guy, but I can understand why she'd be so utterly in love. She'd leave her clubmates to die. Monica's obsession is ominous, to be honest. To me, it's in goddess. Wow. Demonic and there we get the stupendium wordplay. Monica's obsession is ominous to be honest, omnipotent goddess concocting demonic sonnets. There we go. That was something this song was lacking. It's more of a ballad, an orchestral sweeping narrative. And then we finally get uh, some stupendous stupendium wordplay. Uh, again, kind of running into the, the, the issue I had with Hitman is that it's not overly humorous. It's funny if you know the game, but it's not dropping jokes left and right. So, uh, it's it's still really good, though, because A, it's stupendium, and B, it's helping replicate the game really well. I like it. I'll rewind that back a little. To die, cause obsession is ominous, to be honest, to nip it and Concocting demonic I like the stuff you see I in his lenses. Could lead her, but I never could harmonica. <laughs> so I'm trapped here forever with my harmonica. Harmonica solo because it rhymes. Literally out of this world. Literally out of this world. Subtle. Yes, she controls the universe. Looks like it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. There we go. In this classroom in the sky. This classroom in the sky. Just fine when I'm acting on AI. Wow, those are great lines. In this classroom in the sky, because suddenly uh, there's uh, nothingness. And then crimes of passion are just fine when enacted on AI. That is a beautiful genius line. Bravo. Just the two of us. 
quite a drastic pickup line Leaving characters to die Just to guarantee your mind <laughs> She seems so sad and lonely Don't think there's any hope for me This hell is members only Why did I say okie Why indeed? Oh, the flourishes and the glitches. Beautiful. It's a wonderful song. It's a wonderful mix by MPT Music. Uh, a good version of the song. I didn't hear the original. Don't know if the original video is any different. This is the one that came up when I did the search. Uh, I am subscribed to the Stupendium, as you should be. Uh, but... Uh, and now the answers. Listen up! There's over 100 beverage puns hidden in this song! Can you find them all? This is not a first impression reaction, it's a first impression to the answers. So I haven't seen the answers. Tea up, root up, and running. Ooh, tea long. Ooh, long. Cordial. Wow. Squash. Squashin' sprites while rum and run and gunnin'. He, he he did say rum and gunnin', which I think I put it out in the original. I didn't. I've never heard of squash before, but squashin' sprites. It's a double entendre too, because you know, game sprites, models. But these are also hand drawn animations, so they're not quite sprites. So it's flipping it on you because it's about a game, but it's also about a beverage. The beverage sprite. Good. Picture this, picture this, not picture this. It's all in the way he's saying the words, then. Just a couple of cups in a lot of, lot of trouble. Into the lotto trouble, as it says. Bubbling up. Bubbling up. Yeah, the one to deal with the devil to the heat of the kettle that is stuck in a rut. Meet a devil? Meet a deal with the devil? It's in it's squashing sprites while rum and gunning. Picture this, just a couple of cups in a lot of trouble, bubbling up. Yeah, the one that made a deal with the devil to the heat of the kettle that is stuck in a rut. That one's a, that one's kind of a stretch. Yeah, they went and made a deal with the devil. Made a deal with the devil, not made a deal with the devil. That one's. I mean, obviously we'll allow it, but it's good stuff. Things popping up. Explaining. It's inside a health casino that they know bitter. What do they know? I'm so <laughs> Kids in cider, hell's casino. Could be bitter instead of better. What do we know instead of we know? No, we do. I picked up Shiraz. I didn't know. You know, I didn't know. Tab, I thought so. <laughs> Fair trade? Again, there's a couple coming up that I'm not sure of. Vino, I always figured, was just a wine or a type of wine or a slang for rump wine. But Shiraz and Fino, I'm not familiar with. I don't drink alcohol, so these are going way over my head. Shiraz, uh, obviously, is a wine. Fino is clearly a, a wine bottle of some type, I guess. He'd pay their tab if they play to the vault. Vault I should have recognized. Because uh, I used to drink Vault when I drank soda. Uh, tab, I remember picking out. Oops. Wrong button. Made a mockery of fair trade. What is fair trade? I don't, I don't know what fair trade international is. Explain it to me in the comments, because I'm stupid. This is so many puns, I'm having to pause on every line, and that's... You're not going to hear the song. That's... See, that's what I was afraid of with doing this. We're still gonna go, because there's so many. Dark Lord does against some Earl Grey. Obviously, we know Earl Grey. Yeah, the Dark Lord does against some Earl Grey. Here's a real high class song. Milk, milk, lemonade. <laughs> around the corner, the same way. Suck it up, you get to pay. Don't forget the deal you made. Milk, milk, stuff in the, in the mirrors all swept up on Gatorade. Nice. Right. They're, they're making the music back there. 
Now, th that's where I started picking things out, was really takes the Pinot, Pinot Noir, straws and shorts, no cappuccinos, cappuccino. I pointed this out in the last video. I'm, I'm smarter than I look, I swear. Wow, well, what was that one? Wow. Okay, that one took me a minute to catch. Hardly what I'd cool a dreamo dream job. It says hardly what I'd call a dream job. But he sings hardly what I'd Kool-Aid dream job. Kool-Aid, call a... Wow. He was sneaky with these. That's just... That's kind of mind-blowing, in a way. That's, uh, very impressive. And, and weirdly stupefying. As is par for the course, I assume. Calypso, okay. I thought that one, yep. Again, a couple of those I picked up, although won't be chided. I kind of should have gotten. Not sure, not familiar with Relentless. So, again, some of the ones I missed, it's because I'm not familiar with that beverage. Sure. I'm a rock star, I got the moxie to decollect my demonic proxy. To debt collect. So, cola, I guess, is collect. Uh, Rockstar and Moxie, I pointed out because I've tried Moxie. Um, I did I did taste test shows before. Corona, I could have pointed out. It's a good day for a swell Saucers. I'm not sure. Whiskey business. Hot. Again, advocate. I'm not familiar with, but he says advocate, or advocate, which are two different words that are spelled the same. Yeah, pronunciation's weird. And English language language is hard. See, language is hard, obviously, because. I can't say the word language. This is so much. This is so much. If you didn't stick around for this, I don't blame you, but thank you if you did. Uh, holy crap. There's so much to dissect in here because there's so many puns shoved into the song. Just... It's my favorite part of Fifth Element. They're... Not ready. Anyway. Seven up, I thought so. Who ordered became water? That's tough, man. Apple Tizer? My tie suggest? My tie. Might, might I? My tie. Oh, that's so good. That's that's a very clever one that I missed. That's good. Who ordered? Water. Who ordered? So that one's a bit of a stretch. I mean, you, you have a great one with my tie, and then who ordered? Drag those syllables out. Wow. You got to appreciate it, though. That's good. Still, Afogato? See, I thought something like that would be... <laughs> okay, hang on a second here. Tango I'm not familiar with. Under Kava, locked and merloaded. That's great. Throwing in locked and merlot, as in locked and loaded, but locked and merlot being a wine. Wow. I'm I'm glad he's not bringing up Malort. At least I hope he's not bringing up Malort. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Malort is Chicago's own alcohol. 
that tastes like Satan's mouthwash. So I'm told. Again, I don't drink, so I don't know. But everyone who lives here uh, only drinks it on a dare, or doesn't drink it at all, or won't ever go near the stuff because they tried it once and found out how horrible it tastes. And yet they keep making it. N no one knows why. It is the most awful thing, apparently. Everyone. I don't know anyone who likes Malort. Ever. And if you say you do in the comments, you're lying. Just saying. Anyway. As in, with the guns, the, the load from his finger guns. Get your mind out of the gutter. There's that bit again. He came back from that. Magnum, yeah. Martini gloves, my teeny gloves, pack a punch. Man, champ ain't bluffin'. How did I miss champ ain't bluffin'? I probably said champagne. I was probably worried about the battery dying in the laptop by that point. <laughs> this is probably awful to watch as a reaction. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's so much and I have to constantly stop for it. I'm sorry. If this is your first video watching of me, wow. I'm sorry. If you've made it this far, though, good on you. Cheers to you. Uh, pun fully intended. But uh, this hurts my brain. This hurts just cerebrally. It just it messes with you. That, like, these going by and the ones that you missed go, how did I miss that? And the fact that he's throwing them in purely on pronunciation and not what's actually written in the lyrics. That's tricky, man. That's really good. Uh, I wonder if he would do something like something like this with the can, with, with the only can song, uh, Vending Machine of Love, but... It's, it's a little more obvious in that because he's just a lot of the word can. He just... You saw my breakdown of that. If not, it's, it's it'll probably be in the playlist at the end of the video. Hooray. It's wrong, it's totally brewing. Milk, milk, lemonade, round the corner, say the way. Suck it up, you've debts to pay Don't forget the deal you made And chop half the town Again, I'm one I'm not familiar with Looks like I've joined your cult Hope y'all prepared to meet you Looks like I've joined your cult Hope yup prepared to meet your fate I don't know what your cult or yup are There's a lot of beverages that I'm going to miss here Because they're not here in America That's fine. That's true. It's a very difficult game. Cherry juice. Costa, okay. See, that one I thought. You'd call a doctor, peppering my enemies with energy shots I missed. I, I don't know how I missed that one, but five hour energy shot, that's... It's so clever because it is what you do in the game, and it's also technically a beverage. Huh. And he wrote this in an afternoon? <laughs> what what happened? Or was or am I thinking of the only cans one? I wow. Then it's on Tequila Gorgon. I pointed out Tequila Gorgon. Did I say tequila in the previous video? I don't remember. I just... I... I'm out of words. He's using them all. So boring. Big red bully of a gin that I bought you. I was thirst. You slurped redemption. What once would have all looked soft and tempting. Cold hearted slashing my targets. Ice and a slice would have called you dead sin. Don't be blue. I'm per Ice and a slice is not what I thought it was. Because there used to be a soda called Slice. It was like Sprite, only a different company made it. It's like, you know how there's Mellow Yellow and Mountain Dew and they're kind of similar? 
or Coke or Pepsi, they're kind of similar. Slice and Sprite were kind of similar. Slice may have only been available in America. It's not available anymore anywhere. It's just not. They don't make it anymore. The company, I, I forget who made it, but they don't anymore. So that's what I was thinking when he said ice and a slice. But apparently ice and a slice is a different thing. It is ice cubes and a wedge of lime or lemon. It's lemon. I can recognize fruit. That's a hilarious thing to take out of context. All right. <laughs> Just where am I going with this? Curds and whey. Wow. I just... <sighs> That's just incredible. It's a funny song as it is, but all the puns inserted into it just makes it so much more clever than it has any right to be. Wow, that's just... that's just awesome. Thanks for joining me this week. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I appreciate it. If you want to vote on which stupendium song I react to next, there's a poll on my Patreon. For just a dollar, you can vote in the poll, and that gets your name in the end credits coming up here. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps the algorithm get my videos have more eyeballs on them. Although I don't know if people want to watch this one because this one's just all over the place. Have a good week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Start it up, cause I've got a job to do. My day begins at a quarter to the crack of noon, and then soon I'll bring you all sorts of stuff to chew. Never thought I'd have this kind of job at 42. Work where? Well, I don't want to be rude. Drop the name of my job, and I might be sued. But be fair, I guess it's fair. Use simple name. Include the German word for over, and what you do to food. Anyway, that's to say the name is...